here in Pittsburgh with Ryan Kochbrenner. And Ryan, congrats on advancing to the round of 32. You have Oregon up next. What kind of challenge do you have in the Ducks? Uh, I mean, they're a really, really good basketball team. So we've been watching film on them starting last night and through today and walked through some, there's some of their stuff during practice today. And, uh, you know, as long as we're locked, I think we were locked in today, but as long as we stay locked in and watch the film and stuff, uh, I think we can be as prepared as you can be for a team you've never seen before. So, uh, yeah, they're a really good team, and we'll be ready for them, I think. Uh, and a name that I'm sure you've heard a lot over the last 18 hours has been Dante Infale. What do you know about him, and what kind of challenge is he going to be for you down low? Yeah, he's a really good player. I mean, he's really, really physical. Uh, like I've been saying, about, he's really good at making you sort of think he's not in the play and then sort of ducking you in and getting you an easy basket because it gets you to relax or half a second. So I think a big key for me is just staying engaged for all 40 and, and being ready for him and not letting him catch me off guard. When you look at some of the challenges that you had throughout the Big East, I mean, how has that prepared you for anybody that you're going to play here in March? Yeah, I think uh, a lot. Of, we have a lot of really good big men in the Big East, so you get that mix of, you know, Bigs who are really big and physical, like uh, Oregon's big man, and you got bigs like Eric Dixon who shoot the ball really well, so you got to guard them different. So I think that actually prepared us really, really well for March so that we have a few different things in our bag if we need it against different kinds of matchups. And then obviously there's a lot of interest in, in the Greg McDermott versus Dana Altman matchup, two Creighton greats. I know it means a lot for the fans. Is there intrigue for you guys? I don't really remember the Dana Altman era at Creighton. I know he did a really good job, and there's a lot of respect for him as a coach from a lot of the Creighton fans and the Creighton community. But as a player who doesn't really remember it, you kind of just focused on the game, especially this time of year. You're like, you need to be so locked in that uh, you just kind of focus on the game. Well, and then you have a 940 tip tomorrow. How do you feel about that, and how do you stay locked in when you have all day to think about it? Um, I'm actually more of an evening guy than a morning guy, so I'm not I'm not too disappointed about it. I remember in high school, I used to like go up to my high school at like 10 o'clock at night to work out. So um, it's not. I don't think it'll be something that bothers me too much. Definitely throwing a nap at some point in the day, though. All right, Ryan. Thank you so much. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Appreciate it.